evolve your game and get a $100 bonus. Sign up now at TVG.com. Okay, as if there wasn't enough on the line with the Kentucky Oaks and a great chance for you later on with Untappable, we have to talk about tomorrow. Vickers in trouble. And everyone said Vickers in trouble because Vickers in trouble drew the rail. But now we've learned they're actually going to move some posts out because of the scratch of opportunity. What about the trip that you're looking at tomorrow with Vickers in trouble and the Kentucky Derby? Um, you know, one hole, I don't think anybody prefers it, but if I had to choose a horse to come out of that hole, it'd be a horse like Vicker because he's really sharp out of the gate. He's really athletic and agile, and I think we really, you know, moving out one post would definitely help, give us a little bit more wiggle room, but I think he's going to be able to get into a really good position. Well, what's the key breaking from down on the inside? Is it the first, I've heard a lot of writers say it's the first 60 to 70 yards to establish position, correct? Absolutely, because if you, I mean, if you, if you don't get that first, you know, 70 yards, uh, clearly and sharply, you can get shuffled back and end up in a really bad position. Um, but as long as we can get out of the gate good and, you know, we're standing in there for a while, he always breaks super sharp. So as long as, you know, the time of standing in there doesn't bother him, I think he'll be able to get out really well into a good position and we'll be able to save ground. I mean, in a mile and a quarter race, you don't want to you don't want to be losing too right. much ground. So I'm looking at the positives about it and uh, I still think we'll be able to get a good trip. It would seem like with the demands on your time, getting out on the racetrack, just getting in the post parade is almost a refuge for you. But what is that moment like before such a big race like the Kentucky Derby and they're playing my old Kentucky home? Is there any way you can describe it to the rest of us who will never have that feeling to be on horseback before something like that? I feel really lucky to be one of the few people that gets to see it from my point of view. I mean, being on the track, the crowd, my old Kentucky home, just the whole energy, the whole atmosphere is really, it's, it's you know, a very um, one one and only kind of experience. Before we let you go, Rosie, I know you've teamed up with one of your sponsors, Wild Turkey, through Twitter about donating money to uh, Old Friends Farm. Tell us about that and what fans at home can do to help that cause. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. Um, Wild Turkey has been so, so good to us and Old Friends. They've, they're have they donating $10,000 to Old Friends. And um, any tweet with hashtag Ride With Rosie is gonna donate $1 per tweet up to, ten, up to an additional $10,000. And then if Vickers in Trouble wins the Derby, they're gonna double it and donate $20,000. Wow, great cause too. So tweet, hashtag to, w Ride With, with Rosie. Rosie, yeah. You know, this whole media demand is your fault. You're a good rider and plus you're really good on <laughs> camera. You gotta fault. stop that. Yeah. No, I, you know, I just try to stay focused and all, but I uh, love, you know, love to accommodate everybody as much as we can. You know, we're busy back and forth, but I, I'm trying not to be late to the paddock. That's all. Rosie, continued <laughs> success, and thank you for taking time here on TVG. Thanks, guys. Thanks, I appreciate Thanks. it.